for you guys this uh, afternoon. Bye, Greg. Oh, nice to see you. Uh, Karin, uh, the, the, yes, yeah, yes, there, we, there we go. <laughs> so, unfortunately, uh, uh, Lewis is uh, camera is not working, so we'll put a nice picture of her every time she chats, but uh, she can hear us though. <laughs> yes, I can. Uh, that's great. That's great. Oh, no, Lois. I, I know. So I don't know what to say. <laughs> Let, give me one second. Let me run and find my daughter and see if she knows how to fix this. No problem. No She'll problem. She'll know. 100%. I'm going to mute. I'm going to mute um, uh, Lois so long. Then uh, we can uh, chat to Karin so long. That's fine. So, Karin, um, how, this was. Uh, this was your first watercolor. Um... No, it was not my first. I did um, one or two watercolors many years ago. Um, uh, I started, really started in January with watercolors. Um, okay. uh, I've been doing all the mediums, but um, yeah, watercolor was not, but, but yeah, I, I, I did it now in, in, in January. I did a few um, food art, like a hamburger and apple and a bananas and things like that and i just love it yeah so i think I'm we gonna can see them we yeah, can I, definitely I can, see them my only well i don't know for me it's not a problem but i don't do loose watercolor i i'm i'm just that type of person i like re realism and uh detail and so what i did on the on the watercolor i i watched a few youtube videos and and things like that and then I started practicing, but really practicing the the glazing and the the layering. Um, that's the technique I use: the dry on 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 uh, the wet on dry. So that pratia was like between ten and fifteen layers to oh. to get oh, the wow. glazing and and things. So that's the technique I'm using. Um, I really haven't tried like wet on wet on 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 background. But not really a, a painting. I I prefer the the realism thing. So, Karine, how does it feel to be a superstar? It's wonderful. I I did not participate a lot. I've been on the group from the beginning, but yes. um, those years I, I I did not really. It was like lo last year. I did not do a thing. Okay. I did not do a thing. Um, uh, uh, but I think in October I won the prize. I must still actually <laughs> claim that voucher from you, Graham, as well. Um, that was that uh, abstract, that landscape or something that I won. Uh, yeah. I was one of the winners. And um, yeah, so uh, uh, I did one or two, I did a few, but I wasn't really. But but now I'm I'm ready for it. It's a it's a new year, so I'm looking forward to the challenge. Really, I do too. And and it's nice for me now as well to have, um, like even WhatsApp and and Facebook contact with with a lot of the artists. You know, you can chat with them and things that mm. um, I did not do previously. So yeah, I th I'm very excited. No, that's that's very very awesome. Now uh, I'm on your Facebook page, and you've got some. Uh, I see your hamburger. Is that watercolor? It's all watercolor. Unbelievable. The hamburger, the banana, the pear, the um, chilies, the tomato, the egg. It's all watercolor. But it's that the technique that I'm doing. I, I just took the the seven principles and the elements of art and mm. and and I really studied that and then. Um, there was one or two international watercolor artists that I use a bit as a mentor and I've got, um, the, we Zoom and, and they create some of my work. So um, I do that to get the depth and the values and the intensity of the, of the watercolor. Um, and, but it, it, it's, you need to have, I need to have patience because I need to get each layer dry because I'm just using layering and glazing. That's all I use. So I start with light and, and then last my, my dogs. But all those are, 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 are watercolor. That was that everything I did there was 
Um, I haven't posted a lot. It's more on my phone in my gallery that my art, my charcoal and things like that. But mm. And then um, the year before in lockdown, 2020, I bought um, all the colored pencils from overseas. So I've got all the ranges and I did the animal prints, um, the, the animal art. Um, and, and that's also something that I draw. I've got more control over the pencils and the watercolor than, than, and charcoal and pencil than maybe oil. I don't know. Yippee! I know. <laughs> Thanks to the experts. <laughs> Thank you so much. Don't feel bad. I'm exactly the same. I've got a son standing that if, I, if I'm stuck, he needs to run. <laughs> <laughs> Take her out for dinner, Lois. Yeah, I'll have to. <laughs> um, I, I want to see if I can actually share a picture here with everybody. Um, let me just see how I can do this. Share. Share screen. Can you guys see that? Yes. 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 That's one of. I mean, that's incredible. Yeah, that's, that's like super high, uh, super realism. Yeah, that I try so for that. That's that's my style. I I try for realism, hyperism. That is the, that's what I'm doing. I'm I'm, sure. I'm a bit of a pain, and I like detail. I like detail and things. But this is all that Graham is showing now was my watercolors, and I started that in January, beginning that of January. So Impressive. Oh, my word. That's very, very good. Um, but now I want to moan at you. Why? Um, <laughs> this oh, is, my word. This is your oh, Instagram page. Yeah, I'm not very technology. I need to put all those stuff on, and I don't really know how and, and, and how to fix my page on, on Instagram, and all the children is not near me, really. So I need to put that on Instagram and fix my page properly. My well, thing is up there that I'm an artist and, and things like that. So, <laughs> so um, <laughs> I'm not... Um, I'm going to find a post and some videos similar to the hashtags so that okay. I can show you guys how to link up your Instagram with your Facebook pages so that um, as, uh, um, as you load onto your Instagram, it automatically yes. goes onto your Facebook page. So you're doing two jobs, but you're doing one thing. Okay, um, I saw that on your pages. I saw yes. that, and I, I was thinking about that, but I don't know how to do it. I'm, I, I'm serious. I don't know. I'll help you guys. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about okay. that. So that um, I must get on. Hundred percent. Um. Okay. Where were we? Um. Glad you can make it, uh, Lewis. Thank you so much. Sorry about the technical glitch. <laughs> no, that's fine. Um. Uh, just hang on. I got Inna on the line over here as well. I think she might want to join us. Yes, we are on. Um, I've been to both of your Facebook pages, been spying them out, and all your social <laughs> media pages. And I, I mean, you, both you guys are so talented. You need to get your stuff onto your Instagram. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and share your things. Do, do you guys sell your artwork online? No. Why? No. First of all, I don't like the marketing side. I'm not a marketer. Mm. I, I, I don't know. Really, I don't, I don't have the knowledge maybe to, to do it. I Some of that animal portraits... Um, they were commissions for for friends that had animals, and they paid me what what I yes. thought was. But that's what I'm I'm doing. But I I was uh, this year. I need to do that. I really need to get okay. my art out there. I need to to yeah um, to 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 make it as a second income. Yeah, no, for sure. Uh, and then we can all be rich like a uh, um, rancher. Because she's always selling paintings. Yeah, I mean, she sold her pretia, damn. I did you? Yeah, yeah. but the market, I have to 
tell you, the market is so quiet at the moment, sure. And mm. I, mo many of the artists that have disappeared, you don't see them on Facebook anymore. I think it's really tough at the moment. Yeah, well, yeah. You, you must remember, that's two sides to the story. If there's not a lot of artists on Facebook, that means you need to take all of the opportunity and push <laughs> to try and get sales, you know? Mm. Louis, I can't understand. even work Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> hi Lewis um, hi t Lewis uh, tell us about uh, yes. your story with art how long you've been doing it the watercolors the challenge well the watercolors are very recent um, the challenge probably for I can't remember four or five years okay. um, maybe longer and I have, yeah. maybe longer and I probably have 20 pieces that I started but never finished. Um, but oh. then I do have a part-time job. And um, so it, your painting has to, particularly if we're busy at work, then painting has to just wait, um, mm -hmm. which is a little bit unfortunate, but it is what it is when you've got your own business. Yeah. Um, so, so yeah. So I guess I just paint because I love painting and have been involved in a few uh, group exhibitions but mainly um, oil and acrylic. And I've always been petrified of watercolor because I had this preconceived idea that it was such an unforgiving medium. Mm -hmm. um, and because I faff and bugger around with a paintbrush, um, I was scared of putting something down and making the decision first when, you know, how to put it down, what to do. Mm -hmm. And I had such fun with the watercolor because it's not so unforgiving, you know, it's not, I mean, you can move that paint around. Mm. Um, so I, it was such a joyous learning experience for me. And like I, as I mentioned to you, Graham, if I've painted four or five watercolors in my life, it's a lot. Mm -hmm. So this, I went big, a whole sheet of Fabriano and I absolutely loved it. I mean, the board mm. was so big um, that I was painting from all angles. Uh, but it was, I really, really enjoyed it. So now it's time to invest in some, some watercolors. Now, and I think that's why you won, because you can absolutely see the joy, you can see the pleasure, pleasure, and it's nice and loose, it's not so tight. So I think it was really, really magnificent. Mm. Thank you so much. Rensha, coming from you, that's like such, I feel really chuffed about it, I must say. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. oh, um go there and put you there uh inna hello we can't see you hi inna <laughs> see me oh okay sorry um <laughs> okay rakti groen poppy okay yo sorry we've got gremlins to the house is able it is host disabled participating screen uh, sharing. Wait, wait, wait. Ask to start video. Oh, there we go. Can you? Yeah. There we Hello. go. Oh, Hello. Go. Hi, Ina. Hi. Hello. Hi. Um, so we've chatted a little bit about the ladies, about where they've come from and the um, um, taking part in the challenges and that. Um, I've done most of the talking, so uh let Rensha chat a bit and then you can ask the lady some very difficult questions <laughs> um okay lois yes um, so you're planning to do lots more watercolor is that your plan that's my plan yes because it was such fun and it was such a joyous experience so um, yes, I need to go and invest in some some paints because I think I mentioned I mentioned to somebody that the paints I used were probably twenty years old. They were owned by my sister in law, who's ninety one, and the paintbrush in the beautiful little <laughs> wooden box looked like a spider because she had little respect for her art materials. But I created that painting with a ancient box of paints, so. Oh. Um, yes, I've got a birthday coming up in April. I've already told the family I want those little Windsor Newton watercolor blocks or yeah, I'll need to go and do a bit of homework. 
What I just want to say, if you're interested, is you should actually rather buy tubes before you buy the blocks. It's so much no. easier to use activated paint than dry blocks. That's what I find. And it's also That's hard on your brushes. You have to activate it before you start painting. But I, you know, you put something to say. <laughs> I disagree wholeheartedly. <laughs> I don't know if any of you saw the uh, four or five paintings I just posted on Facebook now. Um, they were all the ones that uh, that were um, why I was chosen for the Fabriano thing. Um, they they are all paintings of my grandchildren, but every single one of those were made with with um, a box with with um, pans. So either the half pans or the the full pans. And you know what? The Faber Castell paints are fantastic, and they like an eighth of the price of Winsor Newton. They really are very nice. Okay, those last oh, two paintings I did entirely with the Faber Castell painting, uh, watercolor paint. Really? Wow. And they were the pans. Yeah, they were the pans. So they're much stronger. When you squeeze out, you see the thing. I, I use a lot of the tubes, but only when I do those pouring techniques, you know, when you blow the thing and you spray and everything. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that's one of them. And then if you go, if you go to the next one where I did the pour, that one was entirely, I only had my Fabulous. box of paints there. And I don't even have the big box of Faber-Castell. That's the smaller one. Yeah, this wow. one was all paints. That is magnificent. That is so beautiful. It's great that you're telling us. I'd love to get hold of the Faber Castell. I'd love to try it. Um, it's really worth a try. Uh, we're going to have a special on um, Art Canvas Factory uh, for Inner's um, challenge. We'll have a different paper and the Faber Castell 12, 12, 24, 36, and 48 um uh, colors uh, will all be on special on the website so just give us another week or so and then we'll we'll have them um, stop advertising oh, great. yeah yeah <laughs> thank you so much okay so lois please ignore my advice i don't think it's <laughs> So, you know, Rencha, Rencha, when I uh, when I do this pouring technique where I um, I spray, I pour down colors and I blow and I spray those, then you have to use the tubes, okay? So, but because they're actually thinner, they're not as concentrated as the others. So then I, I do mix a bit of that in a in a little bottle and shake it, and you use it that way. But I oh, almost okay. always use my box. And it's so nice because a box is so small to pack when you go away. You know, you've got one little mm -hmm. bag. So little, easy. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you must come to the bush field. I'll give you, I'll organize accommodation and you come and teach. And Lois and, and Karin will come. And Graham must come to you. He'll bring cold beer. Mm -hmm. And we'll, we'll do it. <laughs> and, if, and if Graham does the class, then I'll, then I will, yes. <laughs> With pleasure, I'd love to. <laughs> Right, we're organized. Cool. Um, the 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 challenge that's coming up, um, the uh, acrylic Picasso. Picasso. Uh, what are your thoughts on those ones, guys? <laughs> yeah, I. I uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> that was acrylic. Huh? That yes. was acrylic. I think that was. No, we'll give it a go. I'll I'll do it in Cape Town next week um, because I'm flying down for two weeks. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do it from there. Mm. So no, we'll try it. Um, it's something new to me. I'm I'm not working abstract or things like that. So yeah, it's quite a challenge for me. Mm. I, I'm very excited. Um, it's it's always nice to see which of the artists paint themselves beautifully, you know, with flawless skin mm. and long locks and four <laughs> <laughs> years. So it's going to be a bit, uh, I, I'm waiting. I can't wait to see what's going to happen. Sure. Uh, yourself, Lois? You no, know, I'm definitely, I've got a few ideas in my head. I, I flew to Cape Town this morning. So, um, yeah, I will give it some thought and I'll definitely do it. Yeah. That's, I think uh, it can be great fun. I, I think so as well, especially the way people perceive themselves, like uh, Rencher says. Talking about that, you know, when I do people's portraits, they always ask me to make them look like their daughters, you know, and just a little <laughs> bit younger. 
<laughs> but when you paint yourself, you tend to actually paint yourself more ugly than you are. You, you see all the faults and things that other people have never noticed, you know. So, mm. so that's actually quite interesting. But Picasso is easy. You can do the cop out with just the lines, you know, and um, <laughs> mm. so but we not do we not cop outs. So we're not gonna we won't do cop outs. <laughs> Curry, we want to do something. Now I'm gonna try wonderful. and do a, a self-portrait with it. <laughs> yeah, you know, well, well, I'll do the the maybe one of those where he was younger, those type of. I don't know. I yeah. don't know. I'm, I'm a bit scared though. <laughs> I don't know what to do. But oh. you know what? When you when you look at his work, it's quite different than to try and to copy his style because you look at yeah. his work. And and you think it's there's some of them that you like and some that you don't like. But mm. the moment you start copying and you have to imitate the lines and the shapes and the colors, you learn so much. Mm. And it's mm. unbelievable mm. to think it's so many years ago. And I mean, the technique and the colors and even their proportions, it's unbelievable how they just get it right. But I, I mean, I guess they practiced a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I'll do it that way. Um, I've got a question for Karin. Um, any um, suggestions that uh, from what we're busy with, that we've started now with our challenge with Rencher? Do you have any suggestions? And then also, do you have an idea for a challenge? You know, I haven't been on the challenge or participate, as I said earlier. Um, I think it's great. And I think it's 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 quite exciting now i don't know um if like like now with the protea and and things you you can't wait for for friday afternoon five o'clock and then um, i don't know if i'm the only one um because it's been like that for the last two or three challenges just you can't wait and then wait for saturday or whenever graham is now because with rencha we knew we now it's a bit you need to wait and you're quite excited and Monday morning, you sit with your phone before 6 or 8 to see, is, you know, what's going to happen. Yeah, so it's quite exciting. I'm really enjoying it, and I'm going to try to to participate, like, every second week and, and things mm. like that, because I think it, let, it, it it keeps you going, and I need that. Really, I need that. And then for, a, for another challenge... Um, I don't know, maybe something abstract, maybe something like a still life with silverware or something where I don't know how to do those type of colors, uh, you know, like a still life with a copper pot or a silver pot or some lace um, mm -hmm. that I haven't done really and, and abstract I, I haven't done as well, so um, I don't understand. Right, good ideas. Mm, good mm, yeah. ideas. Yeah, we can definitely look at some of those. Mm. Um, your, yourself, uh, Lewis? Um, you know, because I followed Rencha for so many years, but I, I really used to enjoy when she would put an image up and say, okay, that's what you're going to paint. Mm. Because it would push me in areas that I wouldn't normally go to, just like the watercolor. Mm, mm, mm. Um, but it was also nice a few years ago when Rencha was asking other artists to um, suggest or to post a picture and then everybody painted that picture and I can remember um, a few years back she did that and I posted a picture of my daughter and her friend and a little child walking towards the beach in, in Camps Bay and it was such a beautiful challenge and mm. I just I wanted to buy everybody's paintings because my daughter was in that picture Oh, okay. So, um, so yeah, there's so many nice, you know, there's so many nice ideas one can can go with, but it is nice to be pushed in an area that you wouldn't normally venture into. Okay, okay, cool. Certainly for me. Well, yeah, um, you know, we we're gonna start coming up with a whole bunch of new ideas. Um, uh, I've been part of the challenge uh, for about three years, I think, Rencha, and so. Yes. I, I've never painted one. I, I can't paint. Let's just get that out of the way. I can't paint. I can't do art. <laughs> you can. You can. I don't. I, you know how long it takes me to edit a video? Between four to six hours. I have to go to your guys' mm. profiles and I've got to research all the pictures you speak about. Then I need to put them in the videos. It's a, it's a lot of work. So 
that's my contribution is to do this and you ladies can all paint and i'll be happy as well and then yeah <laughs> but um um I hope, and thank hopefully... you for doing that graham because we used to sit there <laughs> yeah and he does he has a sterling job i have to say well absolutely Th <laughs> thanks it's yeah, it's, it's fun look a, as i'm learning i'm starting to work faster as well so it's also a learning curve for me um but hopefully we can start coming up with some really awesome ideas and challenges that's gonna push people you know to to do all sorts of nice things and that um um Karine, that one you're speaking now about the uh, silver and um the copper and the lace almost like a translucent kind of artwork um like a water yeah, or something you know, it's just you know to get the reflections and stuff in the in the pots you know in a silver pot or something uh, mm. can be challenging for 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 me uh, because you I, you don't really do things like that so um yeah i would i would like and and even the lace you know to paint what negative and and and, and that sort of things um do mm. uh, do the the lace will also be great. Yeah, yes. sure. I love that. That's going to be an interesting challenge. <laughs> <laughs> you say that again. Uh, yeah. Anything you'd like to end off? Uh, I see it's giving me a warning bell. Yeah, it's going to go off soon. Uh, Rencher. Um, I just think, Graham, that our challenge with Rencher has grown so much, you know, ever since, well, for the past three years as well. But since you came in and, you know, everyone's enjoying it, everyone's having so much fun. And I think it's a good idea if we can make suggestions, we put it all into a box and we choose one every second mm. week. And we want Ina to join as well because we really need her expertise. So it would be lovely to see her artwork. Mm. And I'm just, I'm feeling so privileged to paint with artists like Karin and Lois. I mean, your work is just really beautiful. And um, I hope we can continue like this and be friends forever on Facebook. <laughs> that will be wonderful. Yes. Um, Rencha, I like that idea. We can actually put a poll up on this, 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 the challenge prior to the celebrity challenge with three yeah. ideas and say, what's, uh, let the what it, whoever gets the highest poll that's the next challenge so then we give the group also a gap to, okay. to choose something that's a great idea yeah, yeah. it's your idea okay. <laughs> <laughs> but that's uh, going to give you extra work graham uh it's just a poll so it's not, it's not too much work you guys are going to do the voting <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> um you know anything you would like to end off with um, sorry, you know, I kind of came in right at the end. I'm not really, um, I don't think I'm really qualified to say anything. I just think it's been absolutely fabulous. I really love being part of this last challenge. And there were so many beautiful works, not just the two best mm -hmm. ones, which were, were the best, but I mean, there were other fantastic things, painting, which, yeah, which is were. so amazing. Yeah, no, the, the work was very, very good. I think we had 56 entries this last challenge. So... Wow. Hopefully we get 80 and then 100 and 100. Oh, that's going to be a lot of work. I have to think of it. Sounds <laughs> good. Awesome. Thank you so much, ladies. Uh, um, thank you very much for your thank participation. You, Graham. Thank you so much. And uh, we will see you for sponsoring. Ah, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Contact us for your prizes uh -huh. and we'll send it through. Super. Thank, thank you very you. much. Cool. Thanks, all Most of you. Most appreciate. Thank bye you. Take care. Bye. 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 bye.